Home whites for Duke, road reds for NC State. Duke won in Raleigh earlier this year. There was no Diamond Johnson for State. That will also be the case tonight. Their point guard is out with an injury. Well, right away, NC State trying to attack that Duke pressure. Now they're going to be up the line, hard hedge on ball screen action. NC State's going to have to be able to make some shots. Don't rely a whole lot on the three ball. They've been good off the dribble. Here's Jada Boyd. Shot clock winding down, knocked loose. One possession and one shot clock violation. And there you see Diamond Johnson. Not just the numbers, Debbie, but the handle, which is going to be a huge loss against the press. I mean, Diamond is a one-player press breaker, and others are going to have to be able to handle James. We'll get the start at the point, but Sanaya Rivers, who is available to play tonight, will get some time at the point as well. There's a look at the Duke starting five. Very well-balanced attack. The steal for Isaiah James, and then a whistle and a foul will go against the Blue Devils. Yes. You know how many NC State people have told me how much they enjoy watching Isaiah James play? That she brings a certain level of energy for Westmore. And she's going to need all of that tonight. She might have to go 35 minutes in this game. That was the first foul on Reagan Richardson. And there you see James into the starting lineup because she's been lights out the last couple of games, including a career-high 20 points in her first start against Virginia Tech last weekend. Here's Cheyenne Day-Wilson, the sophomore from Toronto. And along with Taylor, a terrific backcourt duo. If I was Duke, I would try to attack Isaiah James on the defensive end because that is their primary ball handler tonight. And if you can get deeper into NC State's bench, they only have eight available. I think that would be to their advantage. Madison Hayes swatted out of bounds by Richardson. So, Beth, when you go against Duke, you have to have what I call the pressure package in, including shot fakes, ball fakes, Dribble entries, high post entries, things that allow you to get into your offense. NC State struggled getting into their offense against Duke the first time. Knocked out of bounds as Jordan Oliver has checked into the ball game. The junior out of Prosper, Texas. There you see Kara Lawson. It's year number three and certainly on the short list for Coach of the Year honors with the job that she has done at Duke. A 23-win campaign after they finished in 10th place in the ACC a year ago. They have a shot at getting all the way back to the top for the first time since 2013. She said her players handle hard. They handle coaching hard. They work hard. They handle scout report hard. The fade for Celeste Taylor, and here comes the pressure. NC State doesn't like to bring two to the ball in the backcourt, so they like to try to initiate their offense here with James. Knocked down. That's what you call a high, hard, big, fat hedge. High hands. Boyd fades and hits. They're going to need their seniors to show up tonight to have a chance. Well, they definitely should have some confidence coming into the building. They were the regular season and tournament champs a year ago, and they are right now looking at probably an eight or a nine seed, an eight or a ninth place finish this year. Oh, On what the run, boy, good find by James. If you can score quickly in your transition game, that would be excellent for NC State to have this early lead. Duke is pretty good in their transition defense. That time they make a mistake. That's the energy of Isaiah James that I'm talking about, Beth. She sees the floor. In and out. Oliver with the stick back. Westmore urging NC State to push it up the floor. James will stop and pop. Taylor with the rebound and the run out. It's that speed of Jada Boyd in the open floor. Three balls, good. 
Elizabeth Balagoon, the senior. She had 16 in the win earlier this year. Here comes the double team. Oh, you got numbers. You got to attack. Absolutely. You got to look for that shot. Good decision by Hobby. Right now, James going under all that screening action with Cheyenne Day Wilson, and she makes her pay that time trying to get over the top. Running with Hayes, and Madison will scoop it up and in. NC State getting some easy buckets. NC State icing all those ball screens, trying to keep the ball on the same side of the floor. A couple early turnovers and a 9-8 Duke lead over NC State. All good stuff. And certainly fodder for a lot to talk about with the Pac-12 getting a pair of one seeds. Yeah. But Virginia Tech as the highest seeded team in the ACC speaks to how well Kenny Brooks' team is playing right now. This could be the deepest the league has ever been. 11-9 yeah. NC State over Duke right now. The Blue Devils need a win tonight to keep pace and tied for first place with Notre Dame. A win tonight also would give them a chance against North Carolina on Sunday to at least share a regular season championship for the first time in 10 years. Here's NC State trying to beat the press. James, oh, nice step back between the legs and drops the 15-footer. There you go, Isaiah James. Ashlyn Jackson, pull up three, got it. Freshman from Texas, a prep All-American. Hobby walks. Vanessa De Jesus. Shot clock's down to five. Taylor, oh, got an open look. Jackson tracks down the loose ball in another possession. Final minute. Swing it all the way around to the left corner. Open three. No good. Corisdale. And now Rivers. This is her game. And a trip to the line coming. She's special in the open floor. Virginia and Clemson at seven. Then Virginia Tech Louisville at nine. Tuesday night men's basketball on the ACC Network. That is a huge game for Clemson. Oof. They're on the bubble right now on the men's side. And Virginia coming off a loss. The pick, the roll, the foul. Well executed by Duke. Horacedale will try and put a couple up. That bench scoring. I mean, this is a terrific job right here. Screen right on the elbow. Good delivery by Taylor. Made free throws allows them to set up the press. Here comes the trap. James. Good ball fake. Three on one. Keeps it herself. Tipped up. Second chance no good. And Duke immediately says hold for the final shot. When you get a three on one, you have to get points. Yep. Brown to Jesus. James ices it. Good if it goes. So a win tonight moves them right back into a tie for first place with only North Carolina left on the schedule on Sunday. NC State hoping to play spoiler. They can finish anywhere from sixth to ninth place in the regular season down the stretch here, their final game against Pittsburgh will try and join Notre Dame, North Carolina, and Duke as the only programs to ever win four in a row. It's pretty remarkable when you think about the runs that all those programs had. And NC State is in position this year for such a run in the tournament. That's why we love the ACC tournament. 46th tournament coming up starting on Wednesday. Yeah, you know, I'm really surprised that NC State has been able to find some long outlets against Duke's defense. Must be something they saw on film. Got a foul on the shot, Reagan Richardson. But the championship game right here on ACC Network and the ESPN app. First round coverage begins at 12.30 Eastern with the Nothing But Net crew. Rivers 
short on the three. Coach Lawson, they both played for the legendary Naismith Hall of Famer, Vivian Stringer. Yeah. Always had good defenses at Rutgers. Oh, yeah. And Iowa, which is where those yeah. two played for Vivian. Well, Duke is 13-3 and three in the league. Those three losses, opponents scored over 60 points as they get the triple from Balagoon. So the quality of your catch is not good, and then you get late into the shot clock, and you, you got to have the right people making plays, and that's when you don't have a natural point guard. Under 10 on the shot clock, you have someone that would take control out there, and Westmore doesn't have Diamond Johnson available for this game. She wasn't available the first time they played Duke. Day Wilson uses the screen, steps back for three. That's a much better decision right there by Cheyenne Day Wilson. Westmore wants his team to, you know, pick up the cadence a little bit offensively because they are getting too deep into the shot clock. NC State so far has just six baskets through the first 14 minutes. James. Scooped up and in. Jakia Brown-Turner with the good hustle to keep the play alive. It's a great play. NC State sending one or one and a half to the glass. They're more worried about getting back and setting their defense and crashing the boards. Jakia Brown-Turner makes herself available. Short corner. Balagoon got it. Assist Taylor. Kennedy Brown really fighting Camille Hobby to get to that screen. Boyd gets into the lane and a foul on Balagoon. Moves her arms forward. They don't stay vertical. That's what the official saw. Richardson to the cup and a trip to the line. That will be a foul on Boyd for Duke, first. Duke really doing a good job of taking up the space right here, running through their D. I mean, running through their sets. The NCAA tournament should be a lot of fun too, Debbie. Should be great. Yes. Parity around the nation. Duke doing an excellent job of taking NC State again deep into the shot clock, right? Boyd on the drive and a foul. Boyd now four for four, and she is into double digits with ten. Then it might be a two or three possession game at the break. I think he'd take that. Taylor. Boyd denies her the baseline. Right to Corusdale. Not a whole lot of second chance opportunities for either side so far in this first half. Richardson had to jack, didn't hit the rim. Still bouncing around, and Taylor picks it up and puts it in. NC State had a hand on it three times, but couldn't grab it. Rivers. And push her to the left side. She gets it into Boyd. Brown Turner for three. And the left-hander nails it. Taylor kicks it out. Balagoon, wide open look, short. And NC State, a chance to tie it back up or grab a lead. Two and a half to play here in the first half. Brown Turner. Off the bounce, good, all even. There's some fight in the pack right now. Taylor tries to go coast to coast, stripped by Boyd. Numbers for State. Rivers on the run, Collins, and it's blocked by Taylor. For a player like Celeste Taylor, for the kind of hustle that she brings to the Duke defense, great recovery. NC State needs to really execute here the last two minutes.
Collins rattles it in, and NC State back on top. Taylor to Brown, and a trip to the line for Kennedy. Really good seal and transition by Kennedy Brown. Good pass away from the D, and Brown hits on the first. Kennedy 76%. Blue Devils have hit the portal the last couple of seasons. Rivers. And now River Baldwin gets inside. The step through. Muscled it up off glass. No. De Jesus with the push. Balagoon. Nice drop off for Brown. Lefty land. Isaiah James finds Baldwin in the trail, got it. How about River Baldwin? Getting it high off the glass. Balagoon, 15-footer, knocks it down. All of a sudden, both teams are scoring the lids off. The River Baldwin, no. Taylor able to get the rebound and a foul on NC State. Almost got it. Celeste Taylor, are there two of them out there? Are there two Celeste Taylors Everywhere. out there? <laughs> you know the Cameron Crazies appreciate that kind of hustle. They make it really tough in here to run your stuff because you can't hear. Final seconds of the half. Collins will hoist. Duke will have the lead heading into the locker room. Blue Devils need a win to stay tied with Notre Dame heading into the final game of the season on Sunday. And there you see over the last 10 years, NC State is looking to join Notre Dame, Duke, and North Carolina as four-time winners in a row of the ACC tournament. Louisville and Notre Dame dominating when they joined the conference. The NCAA selection committee reveal was tonight. South Carolina, Indiana, Stanford, and Utah were the number one seeds. Here's Camille Hobby. Scores inside for NC State. Day Wilson gets to the left side, down the lane. No. Balagoon puts it back up and in. James step back. And it's been one-on-one -on -one here the last few possessions. NC State has their hands on their hips. They might be getting a little fatigued. I thought the pace was okay for them. But it is hot in here. Balagoon off the bounce. Blocked. Midrange. Good from Kennedy Brown. Wow, that's a nice weapon. Threatening to open things up here early in the second half. Hobby. Got it. Day Wilson, step back. Brown, boards. Kennedy Brown, in and out. NC State doing a good job of playing behind and contesting and not fouling there. Rivers, oh, nice take. change of direction. <laughs> NC State's not going away. Back to within three. They'll sag off of Day Wilson. Back to Taylor from Brown and a foul. Second foul on Brown Turner. An excellent backdoor feed by Kennedy Brown to Celeste Taylor. Only 65% on the season. She had her season high in the first matchup. Yeah, at NC State, 23 points. And she drew seven fouls. Yeah. Got to keep it close. Her ball will stay at this end. Six points for Kennedy in her 20 up. minutes. Rivers. 
Taylor on the run. Got it. I wanted to test that out. I could put, put that cape on and get on that surfboard. 42 36. Duke with the lead over NC State. Under five to go here in the third. Elizabeth Balagoon leading the way with her third double double. She's got 12 points and 11 boards. Richardson, no good on the shot. Duke will keep possession. On the inbound, Corus Dale got it. Well executed. Five on the shot clock. Collins for three. One for eight from downtown tonight for NC State. Rivers gets a block. Richardson, defender went underneath. She pops. Yeah, Kara Lawson just dialing up shots right now for whoever she wants. She's distributing the offense very well. 8-0 run for Duke. Timeout, NC State. As it is right now, that could be a potential semifinal showdown. Louisville's getting better. Don't anybody yeah. be sleeping on the Cardinals. They got to win again tonight. Another late shot clock. See, all this is really lack of a natural point guard. Wes Moore switching it up defensively. I think it's a good move. Got a rebound out of it. Nice tuck by NC State. Heidi. Hey, tomorrow night we have our featured women's lacrosse matchup. Duke threatening to bust this one wide open. Rivers probes the baseline. Brown Turner, a couple of ball fakes, got it. Taylor trying to shoot over the top of the two, three, and does. Six triple of the ball game for Duke. Rivers fouled on the drive. Sanaya knocks down the first. I think Westmore stays in the zone. Yeah, see what happens. James finds Big her. She might have been in the zone. Five on the shot. And the steal for Rivers. Really important here. Two for one opportunity for Duke. If they can score twice. Taylor leaves it off for Heidi, and it rolls over the front of the rim. Baldwin uses the bank. And now one last shot for Duke. NC State switching. Oliver to Jackson for three. And a blocking foul going to be called on Taylor, and Rivers will have some free throws. Yeah. Right? Let's see. Nope. Oh, no. They're Not going yet. off. Yep. Just the fourth team foul. Is that right? Yes. Yep. Well, I'm blocked by the Elena Beer jersey <laughs> to see that part Hanging of the, in the uh, rafters. <laughs> <laughs> Recent Hall of Famer here at Duke. And it's a 10-point game. Can State fight back into it, or does Duke stay in first place? I can't wait for Greensboro. It's going to be amazing this year. We're going to have a good time. It's going to be very competitive. Yeah, all the action leading up to the finals will be on ACC Network starting on Wednesday. And one in transition. The bucket for Richardson. I mean, the long rebound in the transition up the floor.
Jada Boyd's been a little bit quiet here in the second half. See if they can get her going. Oh, just loses the handle. Good fake. Balagoon gives Duke its biggest lead. It's up to 15. This is an opportunity right here. Situational offense to get a bucket. And instead they turn it over. The heat in the building, it's almost like they cranked it up. But it's very hot here in the Durham area, in Raleigh area today, 80, 80 plus degrees. Uncommon for February. Balagoon gets him another possession. Oliver. Hayes gets inside. When you got 6'6", six, six, coming with a long closeout, that's the right decision to drive Richardson it. lost her footing. Numbers. They only scored 58 against Duke the first time. Only three teams in ACC play have scored over 60 against this Duke defense. Boyd and one. That's the first free throw that NC State's missed. One for 10 on the night. Back door, Taylor. It's all back door right now for Duke. You can see fatigue set in for NC State. Shots become a little bit flatter. Taylor with the leak out. Blue Devils making all the hustle plays here in the second half. Timeout, NC State. And the Wolfpack are frustrated. She plays both sides. Well, we've talked about defensive player of the year, but if you're of the uh, belief best player on the best team is also an MVP. Wide open inside and a miss. Heidi, second chance blocked by Collins. Rivers. Remember, they were down 10 with four minutes to go against North Carolina and came back. This is 15. Brown Turner, way outside for three and nails it. Oh, quick on the shot from Day Wilson gives NC State a chance. Rivers for three, back to back and one. Back to back threes, remember it's not how many, it's when. Got her on the follow through and Rivers to the line. NC State makes this free throw. They're going to press, so you can't get beat over the top if that happens, and she makes the free throw. Let's see if Westmore stays in that man-to-man -man or if he considers a change defensively. NC State gets it back into single digits. 3.45 to go. No Cheyenne Day Wilson here to execute. He just came out after that last foul and that shot. NC State really bringing the energy right here defensively. Two on the shot clock. And they had to jack it up. And a shot clock violation for the NC State defense. Okay. Pack have hit five of their last seven shots. And an offensive foul off the ball on NC State. Taylor for three on the inbound. That's a big one. Dagger for Celeste ends an 8-0 run for NC State. Celeste Taylor definitely likes playing against the Wolfpack. As you mentioned, 23 points in the last meeting. She's got 18 tonight. Right here on ACC Network and the ESPN app. That is coming up next.
Taylor, welcome to the Nothing But Net Ladies Night. Celeste Taylor continues to run an impressive show for Duke. Her fifth assist. Boyd, this is a team that going down the stretch, they've got Pitt left at home on senior night. Then they'll get ready to head to Greensboro, a place where Jada Boyd and Jakia Brown-Turner have never lost. Three straight ACC tournament titles. Oliver double coming. Gets it back to Taylor. Just tremendous poise and vision. Balagoon. Got it. James. She just got a knack for scoring. Oliver the kick out. Taylor three. 21 points for Celeste Taylor tonight. Her third triple. Boyd drives the lane. And an offensive foul called on Jada. Big hand for Celeste Taylor who checks out for Duke. As they are closing in on a 14-3 record and a tie for first place. With North Carolina looming. Could be a spectacular crowd and environment here on Sunday at Cameron. And the Blue Devils look to get the sweep on the season of NC State. And they look to avenge a loss earlier this year to North Carolina. You got to, you have to have depth to make a run. The new reveal out tonight from the NCAA Selection Committee has the Blue Devils as the overall 11 seed. Remember, it's a new setup this year for the regionals. Only two locations. There will be two brackets in Seattle, two brackets in Greenville, South Carolina. Nice hand for Day Wilson coming off. You got to have guards and you got to have a lot of them. And Duke does. Let's go, Duke. Let's go, Duke. NC State will drop to eight and nine in the league. They'll need a win over Pittsburgh to grab the eighth seed over Syracuse. The Orange closed out their regular season with a win tonight. Impressive showing for the Blue Devils. As it should yep. in a league with incredible parity and balance. Carolina at Duke and Notre Dame at Louisville to decide it. 77-62, the final, the first season sweep of NC State in 13 years.